We want to continue this discussion about car seats and how they relate to hot car deaths. And we want to bring back car passenger safety technician Amy Dorsher, who joins us via Skype from Denver. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, Amy is the creative director at uh, Safe Ride for Kids. Uh, so last hour we were discussing how this tragedy could happen to anyone. It even happened to your family. Can you kind of share that story with us? Absolutely. About 13 years ago, our firstborn was uh, just a newborn. It was spring early in the morning, and my husband took him for a ride to the DMV. Um, my husband got out of the car, went into the DMV, got his number, sat down, and was like, I'm missing something. Went back out to the car, got our son. He was only alone for maybe two minutes, and like I said, it was early morning, so everything was okay. Um, that, that never happened again, because it was a, a freaky moment for my husband. And at the time, he was a firefighter paramedic and a car seat technician of like 15 years already. So if it can happen to him, it can happen to anybody. And, and I think that's the the point that we need to get across the most is that, you know, everybody thinks, oh, that parent must be a monster to forget their child in the car. But it's not, it, it's, it can happen to anybody. There are teachers and scientists and really smart, loving, caring parents who Get out of routine or get in the auto drive and leave yeah. their kid in the car. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it can happen to anybody. And so that's something that people need to definitely keep in mind. So as far as technology right. goes, how far along are we with having technology to help prevent this from happening? Well, there are a lot of um, people who have created different solutions for this, um, putting something in the car seat that alerts your phone if you leave a child in the car. Um, and some other manual things, of course, we always ask parents, you know, put something that you need in the back seat. A lot of people say, well, you need your child. Well, you do, but when you're going to work, you don't. <laughs> you need your purse or your wallet or your phone, put that in the back seat. And then you know that you'll remember that and take that out and then see, oh, my child's here. I forgot to drop him off at daycare. Um, but there are... Um, there, Kids in Cars is, be, is making a big push for legislation for getting car manufacturers to put something in the cars. And they, they're starting to do that. Um, and I think that's probably the most likely solution because, as, as I said, parents don't think that they could do it. So they're not looking for ways to prevent it. So if there was just something in the car already to prevent it, then that would be a great solution. Amy, we have about 30 seconds left. It's not just, uh, mm -hmm. you know, people driving kids in cars. Mm -hmm. Sometimes kids are curious, they get in cars yeah. to play, and sometimes that also leads to tragedy. Absolutely. Um, kids, cars are very interesting to kids. They like to, they're very curious about it. They want to go in there and play. They want to play like they're driving. Sometimes kids are playing hide and seek, and they go and hide in the car. Um, and then they end up getting stuck in there or falling asleep in there, and the parents don't know it. And, at least a yeah, tragedy. Absolutely. We have a story about that on our website yeah. and our blog. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll def definitely direct people there. Amy Dorisher with Safe Ride for Kids, thank you so much for joining us.